So this video, I'm going to show you control panel of wiring. You have your simple uh, version. This is a Boobox Flex. It's a four unit. Goes out to four solenoids. Um, it's powered by a push button trigger. So when I hit the trigger, the boo box will go and then it will uh, set off the corresponding solenoids. Um, like I said, this is something that is uh, it's really nice for the beginner because you can program it and then you can set it off and then the relays will go off in conjunction with the boo box flex. But there are other ways that you can wire things to different types of relays for a cheaper price. I mean, these things retail for like, I don't know, 159 up to, you know, 300 something, depending if you need 16 or if you need four or two or whatnot. I like to use Molex connectors instead of terminals because I think they're more reliable. But then you got to get a crimper um, and then you have to get your male and female uh, connectors. So up next is my... This is a new one this year. It's called Scare Bear. Um, this is a 10 amp power supply. It comes in. I like to use uh, Wago com connections. These are sort of kind of like wire nuts, except you input and then you uh, lock it in with these levers. Over here is uh, your um, your push button trigger, similar to that wireless uh, sensor. And over here you have a volt uh, adjuster. Now I hacked into this bear, uh, I forgot where I got it, maybe Home Depot, and it ran off of batteries. So I modded it so that, um, th you know, three AA batteries is 4.5 volts. So this volt adjuster, you have 12 volts coming in from your power, 10 amp power supply, goes in here, comes out, uh, switches the volts to 4.5, and goes to the bear. Uh, the put, try me button, this bear was like something that you'd have on the shelf. Somebody would go up to it and hit the try me but button. There was no sound activation. There was no uh, motion sensor. So uh, you hacked into the try me on the front, hooked it into the normally closed, normally open on the bear. When you hit the button, the bear goes off. Never have to worry about batteries. A uh, little bit more advanced than this would be my new newest thing. This is my... Um, grave digger, it's digging Dave. Uh, what you have here is your power supply, 10 amp. It goes to a uh, relay which alternates the legs. So I have one solenoid normally open common, the other solenoid normally closed common. So when this relay switches, it alternates the, the kicking of the legs. So it'll be like this. And um, I'm going to put it like flow controls on here. I'm removing these exhaust mufflers and put flow controls on it. Um, I could I could run a um, regulator off of the T. I might do that. But the thing is, I need control. Otherwise, I would have put this on a four manifold instead of two two uh, manifold. So over here we have your left leg, right leg. Like I said, alternating off of this power supply. This is similar to a uh, Peekaboo 103. Uh, maybe they're called Peekaboo Juniors now. I think it might be Peekaboo Junior. So this is going to wire up to the left um, side is going to be digging, and the right side is going to be a hand. A hand's going to come forward. So we're going to have four movements off of this. This is powered off a push button trigger too. Um, that actually I have to put on here still. I'm surprised I didn't. Oh well, whatever. Uh, so we go over here to an even more advanced one. And this one here is for a motor. It's a spinning um, windshield wiper motor. And what I wanted it to do is I wanted it to go off for a set amount of time. And then once it powered on, it's going to power this unit on, it's going to power this unit on. Now, a windshield wiper usually is about 70 RPMs a minute. You can hook it up to the high 
and you're going to get like 108. So that was way too fast. So the voltage adjuster will dumb it down and make it slower. It'll slow it down. So at 3 volts, this thing will be moving really slow. And what this is is a ghost. It's a ghost dancer. And what's going to happen is it's on a pole and it's going to go in a circle and it's going to hover around Beloved Grave. So what I needed it to do is I needed it to rotate clockwise for a set amount of time and then stop and then go counterclockwise for a set amount of time. So what's going to happen is this power is on, this relay here will be your clockwise and this relay here will be your counterclockwise. It'll go this way and then it will stop and then it will go this way. Now if I eliminated this, there is no time function on the actual stop which does not work very well. What would happen is it's going to go counterclockwise and then immediately go clockwise. So if you have it screwed in or if you have it locked tight in, you're going to get that jerk motion which is going to actually unthread it because you're stopping a lot of weight. You know, if you create a platform and you put casters on the bottom and you want it to spin and you stop it all of a sudden because you have the pipe coming up and you have something coming off of it with even more weight, it's going to unthread even with Loctite. So what you want to do is you want to stop it first before it starts rotating. So once it stops, it'll slow down, stop, and then wait a second and then rotate the other way. So this is your more advanced, you know, your, your 10 amp power supply, 12 volt constant, uh, 12 volts in, 12 volts in, 3 volts out, and all of these uh, uh, Wago connections. And then you have your 12 volt constant, so you could always put your other 12 volt sources on here, which will be running at 12 volts, you know, LEDs, whatever you want. So from there, I'm going to show you probably scare bearer and this will be part one of two i'm actually going to go through and recreate one of these because i'm building a scarecrow and the scarecrow is going to come off of its pole and lean forward and i'm hoping to get other movements out of it like um, arms mouth and whatnot but um from here we're gonna test the scare bear and i'm going to show you i might show you this unit too really quick on uh what is actually going on because it does have everything it does have your you know your your trigger actually it doesn't have the trigger uh but scare bear does so i'll show you that so you got your voltage adjuster your um your actual relay for your uh, reversible motor and then you have your uh, timed relay all right this is just to show you an idea of what's going on here this is your motor it spins this way and then it automatically goes back now I don't want that, okay? But I use this for something else just to test. I'm not going to go through and program it out perfectly, but you can program it where it actually stops and then starts back up. Right now, it's just going to go one direction and then bam, right back in the other. But here I want to show you, like, there's your forward movement one, and that would be your reverse. And you would go through it and just program the different times. Same thing with this. I like to keep this one at 6 because it's a time function. There's, like, 12 different functions on here. You can have it triggered from different inputs, like a, a motion sensor, beam sensor, push button, whatever you want. And what you do is cycle through it. This shows you that it's going to be 6 seconds off where it's gonna power down these two, and it's gonna be 15 seconds on, and then it's going to be, don't pay attention to this, this is actually the time between the seconds. So this is basically a countdown as to uh, a second. You can make it so that it's a longer second. This is the time between the seconds. So say you change this to 201, it would be like one, and then two, you know what I mean, instead of one, to it'll it'll just extend it so here's an example six seconds off this is what happens this is between activations bam on 15 seconds three seconds this way three seconds this way three seconds this way and then three seconds this way you get the idea and then once this powers down to zero it shuts it off so this is very nice if you want to get into some more advanced stuff. On, boom, there's your 4.4 volts. Dumb it down to 3 if you want it slower on a windshield wiper, which is what I have it at about. 
and then the sky's the limit. You can change the functions of it. You can change the contacts of it. Like five is normally open and common, and, and six is normally closed and common. I mean, all you have to do is really switch it here, but it just gives you more flexibility if you go and you solder everything. I usually solder everything under the board, and I put it on um, extensions, So and then I hot glue it down. But this is a very, very nice way of doing it a cheaper way if you just need something to do something simple go one way go the other way power on one cylinder for a set amount of time have it come back power it down shut the timer off and then redo it very simple low cost and it's very effective okay so this is scare bear uh, this will just visually show you what it's actually doing you have your power supply 10 amp going your Wago connections you're out to 12 volts here and then what this is is it's on the push button so this was actually the try me button like I said it just sat there and did nothing unless you came up and visibly hit it so you know yeah I don't want that so this 12 volt constant comes out and goes to here which in turn um, regulates the voltage down to 4.5 and then comes out and goes to the bear um, you're gonna want a higher amperage you cannot get away with like a one amp a two amp would probably run this i'm going to connect more things to it so i need it to be higher uh 10 amp power supplies are, are very nice and uh, i use them frequently uh they can actually power leds and any other 12 volt device so what's going to happen here is once i hit the button the bear is going to go off so i hit the button So it has it has three sayings. So I'm gonna have this hooked up to another boo box box. It'll come out here and it'll power everything around my area and you'll probably see it halloween because i set everything up in one day but the whole point of this is you want to make it as clean as you possibly can this thing can get very messy and uh the connection the way of connections are a great way to uh, extend your um expansion of your things i mean over here like you see i got a whole ton of them the constant 12 volts you have your uh, your negative and your positive, uh, and then you have your your in. So you can use these, you know, many times, low voltage. And my next video, I will actually get around to making the scarecrow, which I think is going to be power supply, um, two two dual channel timers, uh, four solenoids, a it could have uh, maybe just a push button, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to need that. I might be able to just get away with two of these, maybe just one of these. We'll see. But I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to show you everything as far as like hooking it up and just making it as clean as you possibly can because it saves you a lot of headache. If you were to wire, say, this one to just plugs i mean you would have just a slew of plugs you'd have one plug for that 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 you'd have three plugs there um and then whatever else you're going to be powering off of it which you can just tap into these so that's going to be the next thing stay tuned